Previously on Sailing Catalpa, we have some epic days at Playa Candelero. We encounter a battle underwater and our drone decides to vanish and never return. I just went past this island and then it just, it just went blank. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. This is a good day as any. Welcome back. We are in La Paz, Mexico, provisioning before we continue north further into the Sea of Cortez. Morning, everyone. We are in La Paz. We have a patron that would like to buy us a proper fishing pole. We've been fishing with a mop for the last three or four months. The last video, I think there's a lot of people that are in, want to help out and get Lee a proper fishing rod. Our beautiful patron Rick has offered to buy us a rod. We happen to be in La Paz and before we leave we thought oh let's go and have a look in a fishing shop and see if we can find one so. <laughs> fishing rod shopping. This is what you do. Return your fish. <laughs> okay so the first one was a maybe. This one's a maybe. Now he's looking at this one. Price check. The only thing is I've got to spoil this up though. So you're gonna have to buy line. This yeah. is turning into an expensive shopping trip. <laughs> okay, so that one, that one was too expensive. He's gone back to this one. So we'll go with this one and put the reel that we have on it. Get that all the. It's up to you. All this one. Hey, we're finished. <laughs> the perks of being near a town is eating tacos and ice cream. So we're switching the homemade rod. For this rod, thanks to Rick, one of our patrons. It couldn't handle it couldn't... <laughs> seeing uh, the broomstick in action any longer. <laughs> and uh, he's made us uh, get rid of the stick and introduce the new member of the Catalpa crew. So now he's putting his reel on his new rod. Thanks again, Rick. And thanks, Mick. He donated as well to get us to contribute to a rod so Lee was actually able to buy some leader as well. So he's all sorted. We got some so lures. We got a couple and of lures, we got some leader and um, we're ready to roll. Which one's gonna have more luck? What colour do you think everybody? I'm betting on Oh, I don't know. The purple one with sparkles is pretty but I think the pink. Oh no, that blue one's nice. I don't know, what do you think? Blue and blue go together. Try and blue. Mm -hmm. Leaving La Paz for the second time and we're gonna head north. We've stopped the boat up so that we don't think we're gonna need to stop pretty much until we get to Panasco, so unless we can run out of fruit and vegetables. But we're pretty good, we should be right for the next couple of weeks at least, so we're gonna make our way up. We got about 20 days until we're hauling out, so let's go. About three weeks. Bella's like, oh no! <laughs> three weeks, maybe four, we'll see. This should be it for La Paz, guys, till uh, we return months and months away after we've refitted our boat a bit more in Puerto Penasco. But, um, that's about it. We're going to hit island time now until we get to Penasco, hopefully. Back out there. We're addicted to this fun side of cruising. It's been beer o'clock at like, what? Every day. It's 12 o'clock somewhere in the world. He's <laughs> <laughs> really been enjoying himself, which is great because he deserves it. Bye La Paz. We'll see you in like October, November. Maybe. October, November. November, December. See this top here? It's gonna be different. Yeah, let's let's see what the boat looks like next time we're in La Paz. You got a fish, honey? Yeah, you got a baby Benito. Yeah. You threw it back? No, he kept it. Oh, good job. All right, Lee 
caught a bonito and we just turn it into ceviche. Woohoo! Yum! <laughs> Back to our favourite island for another day of sunshine. So today we are leaving this beautiful place. This is like a big island with heaps of different bays that we've been sailing in for the past two weeks. And look at the water, it's just been absolutely beautiful and amazing and yeah. So we have to head up to Port of Penasco where we're hauling the boat out because we actually bought this boat last year. Haul it out for the first time. I think we have like 20 days until we have to haul out, which is like sad back to boat works. But it shouldn't be too long and yeah, then we'll be back at Hey, today we're heading to San Francisco Bay. Look, this Brandy. is why I love the colour of the sail. Look, it's the same colour as that water. <laughs> there are two sails, that colour and then that colour. There is no wind, we even put the spinnaker up. There wasn't even enough wind for the spinnaker. It's finally enough wind and we've put the spinnaker back up and it's, yeah, it's filled with wind now. Before it was just flapping her all over. So now it is back up on the other side as we've come around the corner. There's still not much wind, but nice little gentle sail along the Sea of Cortez. First fish on the new rod, sounds like it. <laughs> Come on, baby. Snap. What? Snap. Bad line. Yeah. Oh, I should have bought some of the shop. It's not as clear, but it's still nice. After dropping the anchor, we headed to the beach for sunset and a swim. Okay, I'd like to see that. <laughs> Would be the greatest if you backflipped off here right now. I'll this and this is my favourite. A new anchorage, just watching the sun go down. So this morning, Mum and I are going to go on a hike here at this island. It's pretty beautiful outside, so I'm just going to make us a quick little smoothie to have before you go on a hike to give us energy. I'm going to make a matcha smoothie. I've never used matcha to make this smoothie. 
only use the turmeric one. So let's see how this one tastes. Because you guys know, we love mud water. Oh, pretty excited for this one. To make it a little extra sweeter, because you can never be sweet enough. Let's do one day. And then we've run out of coconut milk because we're out of the islands. You can't go to shops, we've run out. It's really sad, so I'll be using some cold water instead. Blend it up. Now we are ready to go on our high taste tester. Oh, it's like creamy. Mmm. So good. That's actually better than I thought it would be because it was water, not milk. Mmm. Cheers. Let's go for a hike, baby girl. for a hike, we have to watch out for scorpions and rattlesnakes. Other than that, we're good! We were super pumped to do a hike this morning. Even though it was pretty hot, it wasn't too bad. The path made it nice and easy. Oh, it reminds me of this time. We were at a bay like this in Australia and Bella was kicking a football and the football went off the cliff and she ran towards the edge of the cliff and it freaked, it freaked me out big time. <laughs> Ever since then I've been really nervous around cliffs. The view was great from up here. Not much up here, just some rocks and the occasional cactus. No scorpions or rattlesnakes today. Because guys, what's the best part about doing a hike? Jumping in the water afterwards. <laughs> Absolutely. We are sailing along, wing on wing. We're sailing to Isla El Gato. 
or Gatto Bay or something Gatto because Gatto means cat and I think it's named that because a family of pumas, pumas or pumas, live in the mountains nearby. But that's where we're heading and it's about 35 nautical miles from where we left. We left San Francisco Bay. Not early, we left at about 11. Bella and I did a hike this morning so we left after that. We got a little bit of wind, but not much. What's the wind doing, Captain? I've probably got about six knots from behind, three and a half knots. Oh, it's very nice. Into the current now, but... Yeah, we think good. we just got some current against us because we've slowed down a little bit, but it's super lovely. I like this kind of sailing. It's very relaxing. Remembered something. Yesterday we had some really bad luck. We uh, had a massive fish on the new rod, and this old braid, apart from Nelly getting spooled, just broke. So I just remembered this old fella I met. I was actually buying dive weights at the time, and I got this reel off. I forgot all about it. He actually gave me another one that's got line on it. Oh, I forgot about it. So we're going to get this one back in action. How did you forget that? I forgot about it. <laughs> I didn't want to put this out because there's not much. There's only like a few lines left on there. We're so, so bummed we couldn't use the rod. We can now. So in a matter of no time, I'm going to rig this up and get it back out there. We could have got two rods. Did you not realise you had that reel? I forgot all about it. That's hilarious. Who forgets about a Well, it was a last minute thing. It was like, I didn't even go to buy reels off the guy. It was just, he had some lead dive weights and we didn't have any dive weights. So yeah, and he had a few extra, he actually had a lot of gear. Is that a good reel? Oh yeah, it's a, another Penn Senator. It's a, it looks like a newer one than that one. It's actually, it is newer. It's a smaller reel, but it's um, nice. Get it out there, baby! What are you doing? There, the look of it. We are just cruising along at six knots. Six knots. We've got wing on wing sail. A beautiful precision sail. Head sail is out. It's just a really, really nice day. And it's a really nice motion to be cruising along in the wind behind us. Kind of sailing is just, yeah, it's so peaceful and the boat's stable. You can do everything. What kind of lure are you going to put on? I think you should put a pink. Isn't there Mahi Mahi along here? Yeah. We are overdue for a big, beautiful fish. Uh, we're going to do it now. Got the old mono on. Back in the day, that's all I used to use until all this braid come along, but I do love braid. Mono's got a nice stretch to it, but braid, Hello. Has its own benefits. I don't even know how to put a reel on. Put it on backwards. <laughs> Chris, mate, he needs some lessons. Come and oh, visit mate. us. It's a bloody amateur hour going on here. <laughs> I'm a little bit like gittery to get it back out. He was so bummed about when that snapped. Like so bummed. Look at this. So devastated because he's got a rod now and he couldn't have it out. <laughs> but now, and we're going fast enough now, so yeah, we're we going six, a good speed. Yeah, we got six knots, just downward, nice and flat. You know, we got a big fish on, we could potentially just furl in the head sail, which only take a second. What color's the lure gonna be, Val? Gonna you you pick the lure. What did she pick? So pretty. It's so pretty. Bella was a fish, this is the lowest she'd eat. Let's see what we can do here. I'm hoping for a mahi. So we're leaving Los Gato and we are heading to Agua Verde today. We didn't do anything here, we just slept. Slept, got up, moved on. I think it's about 18 nautical miles to um, Agua Verde. 
So we've just been sailing today with just the spinnaker. So we're a little bit lazy. <laughs> we didn't put up any of the sails. But we can be going five knots with just the spinnaker out, so we weren't going that far. But we are about to change directions, so I think we've got to pull the spinnaker in and maybe put the headsail out. We're not too far, only a few nautical miles away from our destination. No fish though, Captain, what's happening? <laughs> Bella's got a fish! Go Belly! Woohoo! A little mahi mahi caught on the hand line just before we arrived at our next stop, Agua Verde. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.